So with PayPal's major change happening this month, people are wondering, is this the end of PayPal? Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about PayPal and PayPal's new initiative, the massive change that they're doing that happens on September 12th, this month on the 12th, just a matter of days away from right now. Now, if you haven't been in the reselling business for very long, you may not understand or know that PayPal used to be the one and only main processor for eBay. Before that, you could send in cash, checks, money orders to purchase your items back in the early days. We've been on since eBay's been eBay. It's went through a lot of changes. PayPal has still been there until they took over managed payments. So with managed payments in there, a lot of folks who are new to reselling in general may not realize that PayPal was like the founding processor of eBay. Well, PayPal does a lot of other stuff as well. We use PayPal for other sites that we make revenue on, other sites we sell on, other reselling sites. Hip's a perfect example, you get paid through there. Many other platforms out there, you can use PayPal. You can still use PayPal to pay for items on eBay. Now, the big change that happens on September 12th is after September 12th, they will not transfer money into your account if you wanna buy anything. If the money's not in the account as well, you won't get that 1% cash back which was a big factor why a lot of folks used it uh, opposed to cards that may not give you any cash back. Businesses use PayPal very extensively. We personally use PayPal very extensively too. With this new change that they're doing, you can't go to the store with no money in there and expect it to pull from your bank account. You have to transfer money to your PayPal account to actually be able to use the your MasterCard, your, your charge card through PayPal. It's basically just the bank for those folks, I guess at this point, who don't use it for business. Now, they announced it last month, I've been following it. As of uh, about three or four days ago, the, the amount of negativity towards this have been over 70% of every post I see, including the posts which you see here from PayPal's own community board that you can talk about this stuff on. So the question comes to mind, if that many people are upset with PayPal, you know, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna leave? And a large chunk of the folks on the community tab, I'll include a link down below for those who wanna read it, are saying they've already shut down their account because they used it to pay this or pay that just to avoid using their bank account numbers on things. They could use PayPal, it would just pull the money from, from your bank. So you didn't have to lock money and hold money in PayPal to be able to use it. I think that's the biggest point. Again, we still get paid through PayPal from multiple sites. So for us, it's not gonna be much of a big change because I've always kept 500, 1,000 bucks or something in there going forward. We transfer out you know, anything over a certain amount if we need to purchase something or there's an issue with something else or whatever the case may be. It's pretty easy to just send somebody something. And if it was over the amount that we left in there, it would just pull it from the bank. Again, nowadays you can't do that. You have to leave money in there like a traditional bank. And that's what's scaring off a lot of folks. Now, is it due to eBay pulling off to begin with and splitting off so now they're not getting the lion's share of processing fees going that way? I can't tell you for sure. I didn't dig into it enough for that. It doesn't matter for the basis of them shutting down that option for a large number of folks. Many folks may not even realize this is going on at this time. So PayPal wise, it's gonna be up to you. PayPal, I've always had a good relationship with. I've always had them cover my back. Two times our card was, the card number from our PayPal charge card was uh, taken, used uh, on the other side of the, the country in California. And um, at the end of the day, they covered it. They notified us, they stopped the card from being used anymore. Um, they put the money back in my account. They investigated it. They had pictures of who you, I mean, it was a big ordeal. They, they, they made it feel like it was important to me. So I've always honored my, my use of PayPal. And again, I won't change that, not because of any past issues, but it works fine for what I'm doing. So you're gonna have to decide on PayPal whether it's worth your while or not. If you do business aside from eBay, chances are you have the option to use PayPal for a payment platform. So I can collect money. Hips, hips again, a perfect example. When I sell things on hip and I've sold hundreds and hundreds of items 
on just one of the HIP platforms alone without any trouble, they've all went through PayPal. I have not had a single issue with processing funds from purchases from, from sales on HIP and many other platforms. There's a bunch out there that will take, you could even still use it in stores, you know, if you really want or whatever the case may be. They have hookups with other sites. Bonanza, I think they still had a hookup with last I looked, but uh, I was under the impression they were going to be working on some other things. Maybe this plays into it. The biggest factor, it seems to me, is that um, you have to have the money in there because they're, they're tired of giving out 1% on people just transferring it in to get a purchase. So if you buy things with your card, you got a 1% cash back. That's the gist of it. So you didn't have to have the money into the account. So for me, it personally doesn't bother me. I'm using the service. I'm getting something out of it. You know, I know there's fees. There's fees on every platform you're out there. So there's, there's no way around the fees, no matter where you use your, your financial services like that. Wherever you're cashing out your, your carts through, if you're selling you know, on your own, if you got your own site, your own Shopify, if you're on Etsy, Poshmark, Macari, wherever, there's many different options on a large number of these. Not all of them, obviously Etsy and eBay have some exclusives and, and obviously Amazon and stuff, but the smaller sites you can still use other options, some of them, not all of them, but a large number of what we use allows us to, to collect money through PayPal. It gives us a, a banking record as well, so it's real easy to do your taxes at the end of the year. You don't have to worry about you know anything like weird fees or anything else like that because it comes right out of PayPal. You can separate it, you can print everything off. We've been on PayPal probably since the year PayPal was PayPal. I think at one time, if I'm remembering right, you were required to have a PayPal account to do business on eBay. So, you know, things change. That's what happens, you know. Since I already have a 70% or so ratio of people who are telling me they're going to drop PayPal, it would be very interesting for everybody watching this video if you could leave your comments down below about what your plans are or if you use it for business like we do. Be interesting to see how many people are going to business as usual because it's, a, you know, using it for a collection, for accepting payments, or if you're just using it to say, pay a, a reoccurring bill once a month so you don't have to use a bank account. I see that, that's something people have done, you know, it, it, nothing wrong with any of that, but that's the policy that PayPal has instigated starting with September 12th. Now again, there's other options if you don't wanna mess with PayPal anymore because you have to suck the money into there before you ever spend it. But you know, it, it's up to you. End of the day, it's gonna be each and every person's business call, whether they use it going forward or whatever the case may be. A lot of folks, again, don't like to give out their business personal information, their banking account numbers and such forth. There are sites out there as well that can give you a dummy charge number. You can get it. It's only a one use and off it goes. Many of them are out there that does that. There's some that offer you like free service. You get so many a month, you pay if you need more than that and stuff like that too. I'm not gonna shout out any specific names. I'm not trying to promote anything at all in that aspect, but the options are out there for pretty much to do your business any way you want. We run our business and I hope everybody else does with what works best for you. You test it all out, you see what works. If it works, you keep doing it. If it doesn't work, obviously you stop doing it. End of story. But anyway, please comment down below and let us know on what your plans, whether you use PayPal or not, whether it was good to you or not. That would be great to know. Maybe I'll do another video specifically on comments on PayPal to see where that goes. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Digger the dog, Digger he goes with you when you explore. Just pull his leash and go for a walk, he's your dog for sure. Digger the dog, when you pull his string, he walks five feet from romper room.